few bars of an old tune called Until the Real Thing Comes Along, uh, illustrating a device used by Fats Waller uh, and really uh, developed to perfection by Fats called the waterfall effect. And we've had some questions about this. How do you, how do, you do that? Well, uh, there are several different devices. What you're doing is in that tune, we're going from a, say, C major chord to a G augmented seventh, and then to an E minor, to an A, and then back to a, a two chord and a five chord and a C chord to simplify it. Uh, to create this effect, uh, basically, you're taking the elements of um, the uh, arpeggio of the chord, sometimes including the sixth, sometimes including the seventh, sometimes in an inversion, basically whatever you can get your hands on, so to speak, uh, to create this effect. Uh, <clears throat> now, um, other players, uh, for example, uh, Lucky Roberts would use a similar effect where he would take the, um, uh, the bottom note and go chromatically up a third or a fifth, like Or you would have Art Tatum, where he would uh, uh, take the uh, the first note of the chord and then go up in an arpeggio. Or you would have, uh, for example, uh, uh, Fats Waller, who would just come up with all sorts of different combinations for this. Uh, for example, I'll play again the eight bars from that last tune. So musically, it's, it's really pretty simple, but the trick is to keep the variations coming so it doesn't sound like you're just doing the same, um, uh, the same chord inversion over again, like this. You know, like an old player piano. Uh, you want to have, but you don't want to distract from the melody. It's an effect on the piano. It's not a really a, it's sort of like a replacement melody. It's not like a, a melody per se. Uh, but then again, it's not just outlining the chords like. You, you want to put uh, some rhythmic variations in it and also some chord inversions in it. Uh, you could try many different effects to it. You could do a little stop time. effect you want to create, uh, the, uh, the idea is to make it smooth, and there's no better example than listening to one of, uh, of Fats Waller's recordings where he uses this effect, because he had such uh, a, a smooth but a powerful approach uh, to, his, uh, to his technique uh, that uh, the rest of us uh, can only just hope to try and match it. But that's the basic um, theory behind Fats Waller's waterfall effect.